How's everyone doing today? Uh, figured I would shoot a kind of a recap video of today. I had a crazy day today and I want to somewhat document the project that I'm working on because uh, I didn't record any of it. I've, I've got a friend of mine over and we are making a cabinet for his squadron. He's in the Air Force. So we're making a four foot by four foot by four inch deep cabinet. The case of the cabinet is all curly ash, and then the two doors of the cabinet are walnut with a curly ash diagonal panel. Um, and we're going to use a about a 14 inch diameter circle right in the middle of those two doors to act as the door, the door pull, how, to, how you open the door. It's gonna be attached to one of the doors, and inside that circle is going to be his squadron emblem CNC'd out of it. So let me show you on the computer what we're trying to achieve. Let me spin you around. And this is what we're trying to achieve. So the image on the left is the cabinet doors shut. As you can see, we've got through mortise and tenon joinery for the case. If you guys saw my um, jewelry vanity build, jewel, not jewelry vanity, jewelry cabinet build, I don't know if I got my fingers on the microphone, I'm not even sure with this camera. If, anyway, if you saw my jewelry cabinet build, it's gonna be a very similar construction. So the doors will swing open, and as you, as you can see, the emblem is only on the right door. So as it closes, the right door will latch the left door, if that makes any sense. And on the inside is just this white board, because it's for a four foot by four foot magnetic board. If I hide that real quick, you'll see some, actually, let's, let's unhide that and just go to the back side you'll see the horizontal bracing. So this middle one is to just connect the two sides, stop them from splaying out. Bottom one is to stop the bottom of the panel. Uh, and top one is to stop the bottom of the panel, but it's also a French cleat system. So that was the goal. And how much could we get done today? Well, man, we, we knocked out a bunch today. So let me bring you over here. And that's the cabinet. So we got the whole case milled up and the joinery done and glued up. As you can see, if I can figure out how to zoom in on this thing, I'm not used to this camera. Uh, the through mortise and tenon joints are glued and wedged with babinga, so that's gonna look pretty good. And it's curly ash all the way down. So that, of course, looks good. And yeah, that's gonna turn out great. Now, we did a lot of, we did a lot of contemplating about grain selection here. So this this face is what you're gonna see when you open the cabinet doors. You're always gonna see this bottom face and it's got a lot, a lot of curl to it. See all that curl? Beautiful. So we made sure that that's gonna be seen. Plus the way that this is gonna be mounted in the room, uh, it's going to be viewed more from the right hand side than any side. So we made sure that this side is also nice and super curly. Look at that curly ash. That is, I'm so impressed every time I cut into this stuff. Beautiful. All right, so then we got the piano hinges here. That's gonna go on the two doors. Now, we got all of that done. Well, we started on this project this morning, so we got quite a bit done on this, but how far did we get on the other? I think we got pretty good progress done today. So these, are the rails, rails and styles to the doors. So these are the walnut pieces for the doors. Now, if we go back to this model over here, you'll see that inside the door is a bunch of strips on a 45 degree angle. Now these are gonna be like shiplap, so you can't see through the seam, but they're not gonna be glued together. They're just gonna be floating. So shiplap, not a glued up panel, and it's gonna be on a 45 degree angle. And for that, we milled up some more of this curly ash and this stuff all came from an eight quarter board and surprisingly, surprisingly remained stable. I've been having some trouble with this particular batch of ash, but hey, it all remains stable and it's all curly. Now this stuff, some of it's not as curly as the, as the, uh, the, the case itself, but there's still quite a bit of curl into it. And all that's going to show up pretty good once we uh, put some finish on it. But we got all the pieces for the doors. We just haven't glued it up. We'll, we'll get onto that in the morning. So if everything goes according to plan, 
I'm hoping we can have this entire project done in one day plus one morning of work because we only have until noon tomorrow before he's got to cut out for some other obligations. So it would be awesome to get all of this done in a, a day and a half. That'd be quite ambitious, but hey, uh, we're gonna try. So anyway, I wanted to at least show you guys the progress for today because I don't know if I said it or not. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not recording it because we're trying to get done as soon as possible, but I am taking pictures along the way uh, because I do want to at least make a website article out of it. And maybe if there's an, enough interest in a cabinet this size, I'll do some plans on it because I think that this is gonna turn out beautiful. It's gonna turn out so good, especially with his, um, what is it? His squadron emblem logo, I'm not sure. It's, it's the squadron logo, uh, CNC'd into that big circle in the middle. But anyway, hopefully you guys are all having a great day today. Hopefully you guys were as productive as I was for once. <laughs> and uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.